Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Once Alliances Overview. The return of one of my favorite developers and the games on the Quest platform. I was a fan of the first installment of Once and I'm like so happy that we're getting essentially a sequel of it. To me Cortopia so far did not produce anything lackluster and having this track record on the Quest platform is rather impressive nowadays so I hope this one will deliver. So Once Alliances is a multiplayer competitive dueling game where we battle it out on the arena by completing objectives or eradicating your opponents. The first time I saw it I would have guessed it's like an extension of the first game and reading the description it kinda is but before mechanics wise it would be 1v1 with selection of custom spells and later on powers in wands on couple dynamic environments with teleportation. What we'll get here apparently is a 3 vs 3 setting with classes and their specialization mixing the dueling with both combat and some objectives on the maps. The gameplay overall is chaotic itself and extending that to 6 people is rather crazy to me. So I'm very curious how it's gonna turn out you either have to develop some big ass maps or create a lot of spots where you can actually move speaking of which i wish we would get free locomotion simply because it's 2022 and we'll do for an upgrade though playing the first game i get it because it would dramatically change the whole dynamic and it would not be the same game at all it's definitely a thing of easy to learn hard to master i had my personal tactics as well and overall this is one of the most exciting releases so far this year for me i'm just expecting to have a lot of fun so let's just start this. Welcome. Nice to see you, Wilda. Ah, so good to be back. I see some people were already testing it out. Got them early access, but whatever. <laughs> First of all, yeah, tutorial. Let's go. <laughs> Look above you and you'll see a magical lantern. A Wilda's magic only works within its light. Move too far away and your mind will be tossed into the void and your powers rendered useless until you move back inside. Enough of that. Let's start off with getting a pair of wands in your hands. Just press start when you're ready. Is it because it's a room scale experience? So it prevents you from cheating like going too far? I mean, <laughs> I'll fall from my bed so I'm naturally blocked. Both of your wands are currently equipped with one spell each. In order to cast a spell, aim your wand and pull the trigger. Once a spell has been fired, it will need some time to build up charge again. Target dummies will appear beneath the lanterns in front of you. Just aim and pull the trigger. Okay, so we have a cooldown system in comparison to the previous game with mana. We'll see how this dynamic will work because mana management was kind of a big thing, but here is just gonna be more fast paced. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, is this Good homie? Hit. It seemed. To aim both accurately and quickly is a challenge, but try again. Oh, damn. <laughs> It kinda is Nicely homing. Done, Wilder. Casting spells seems to come naturally to you. Now, since your magic only works beneath these lanterns, you'll have to learn to travel between them to be a proficient wielder. Just aim towards a lantern and hold the grip button until the traversal is complete. <laughs> Ah, it's not that fast. Interesting. See how fast that can get you around? Remarkable! Next, we will test your defensive capabilities. Traversing lanterns and using spells are both convenient, but often the best way to avoid danger is to physically move, dodge, or hide behind cover. In this test, we will temporarily remove your wands. Avoid getting hit using only your movement. I wish I could like spin around. I guess it's room scale and stuff, but it still would be pretty good. Pay attention to the enemy dummies beneath the lanterns. Move or use cover to avoid their incoming projectiles. Oh shit, that's fast. Yeah, like, I'm not sure if that's gonna be, like, very efficient. We have options, maybe? Yeah, we can't spin at all. Okay, we'll see. Each 
of your wands can be equipped with two different spells. That's four in total. To switch your current spell, just press the button. A skilled wielder must be able to switch between spells in the heat of battle. See, like I have to spin it around, but I have a wall here. I will hit something today. This allied dummy is wounded and needs your help. Switch to one of your healing spells to restore its health. Fun. Good. Now switch between your different spells to heal your allies and destroy your enemies. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I guess it's like charge and then direct. Wonderful! Mastering the art of the spell switch is a grand achievement. On to the next test. A good wielder has spells for every occasion. Here you will learn how to change your equipped spells between battles. <laughs> This is your battle kit. The cards next to your wands represent their currently equipped spells. Try grabbing one of the equipped spells and move it to the other wand. Creates a storm on a lantern that shoots three bolts of lightning. Yeah, this is like traps and stuff. Good! You are free to switch the placement of your spells as you'd like. You can also replace an equipped spell with an alternative from your case. Try it out! Very good. You can swap your spells around to fit your tactical choices. Feel free to read up on your spells and choose your selection. Whenever you're done, press the ready button to try your newly equipped spells. Great choice, wielder. Now, try out your spells if you'd like. Sometimes, talking to your allies is not enough. In those cases, you can use your magic to mark objects in the world. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Make sure to identify and mark every object on the list. Hold down the button to preview what object you are about to mark, and then let go to mark it. Hey, there! Hey, there! Where? Careful. Hey, you can there. always hold down the button to preview what you will mark. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. Like, the gameplay might be too fast, but then again, teleporting isn't, so I'm very curious how it's gonna go. I'm gonna be so bad today, unfortunately. I do hope they're gonna add, like, this locomotion thing. As a watcher, you will take on the role of an attacker. Your objective will be to neutralize the Ministry's magical infrastructure. This can be achieved by placing and setting off an Omega device. This is the Omega device. You'll have to carry it to one of the Ministry's rift sites. Now, make your way over to the rift site with the Omega device and place it on the control panel. I'll mark it for you. Okay, that's new. Place the Omega on the control panel and arm it by inserting your wand. Remember to keep your wand inserted until the Omega is fully charged. Well done! The Omega will require some time to be set off. During this period, it's Wait. important to keep the Ministry forces at bay and keep them from disarming the Omega. Once it's set off, the rift will close and the Watchers will have done their job. On to the next test. So is this the ultimate objective? Or can I just kill everyone? <laughs> As part of the Ministry, you will take on the role of a defender. Your objective will be to stop the attackers and protect the... Hurry over to the rift site. But be careful, the area will be protected. 
Okay. <laughs> so a real test. I'm not sure about the pacing. Nicely done. You successfully foiled the Watcher's attack. Now, head on over to the final area to finish the training course. Congratulations, Wielder. Okay, so we have unlockables by the level. Amazing. Like spells, characters. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I just want to absolutely make sure we can spin. Okay, this is gonna be a problem, maybe specifically for me or for people with just small places to spin around. <laughs> we have classes, and I'm assuming every class try to sneak past me. Yeah, has Someone different spells. I'm not gonna read everything now because I don't necessarily have time, so I'm just gonna go support and just try to do something on the battlefield. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna suck ass, but we'll see how it's gonna go. Bullshit. Literally crouched. Lesson learned. Did anyone play the first ones game? Yeah. How you feel about the dynamic that the teleporting is not instant? It's pretty good for me, because I hated the fact that people would just spam teleporting until they were fucking, you know, not <laughs> there anymore. It, that shit was annoying. Okay. Oh, we can be both here, okay. Yeah, you can be in one spot at a time. You can be in two spots at a time. Enemy! Can I like what the Enemy Enemy uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not used to just slow things. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking three oh of them just sitting here. Yeah, fuck you guys. Fucking three of them were just sitting there camping me. I couldn't fucking move because they were pieces of shit. Got one. This <sighs> Fuck this. I'm not playing. This is game bullshit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll come back. <laughs> there you go.
predicted outcome. Nothing's gonna heal that. Uh, what is it? Lift, 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 this way. Hey, lift, 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 this way. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> as much as I love wands, something's off with just the dynamic of the gameplay. It's the not spinning around. It's the not so fast teleporting. Room scale will be very nifty for people with small places to play. Like you can have some natural advantages not even being able to change it any way possible. I do love the concept, but I think it's just too slow for me in general. Also, I need to do the research on the descriptions of the spells and stuff like that. There's my trusty lightning bolt. I just need to unlock it someone. <laughs> in general, I think it's promising, but it's just not for me in its current state. I see myself in the future enjoying it, but I just need some time to play with it and we'll see how it's gonna go. <laughs>